Welcome folks, this is Pavan Gupta, Technical Marketing Engineer working for Cisco. Welcome to Agentless Posture series video. In this video, we will see what configuration is required in ISC to quickly assess posture of a Windows endpoint with Agentless Posture service which doesn't require installation of agent on endpoint. Agentless Posture is introduced by keeping market demand in mind how does administrator quickly assess compliance of an organization policies without installing an agent on endpoint and get rich context information of an endpoint by providing secure access to the endpoints. Let's get started by logging into ISE. Once after successful login, as a matter of fact, we were supposed to configure network access devices. Let's navigate to administration, network resources, network devices. My endpoints are connected to switch port and I've configured my network access device with an IP address, enabled radius authentication settings and provided shared secret as well. Let's navigate to the policy, policy element and results, client provisioning, resources. In identity services engine 3.0 by default, you're going to see Cisco agentless windows plugin available by default. We need to map this Cisco agentless windows plugin to the client provisioning policies. Let's navigate to the policy client provisioning. By default, windows client provisioning policy is associated to the temporal agent. We will try to associate Cisco windows agentless plugin instead of a temporal agent to provision the agentless plugin to the endpoints. Let's navigate to the policy, policy element and results. We will try, we were supposed to create an authorization profile and I've already configured one authorization profile called agentless and we introduced a new flag called agentless posture. In a persistent agent flow, we were supposed to ask the end users to be redirected to a page where they can download the AnyConnect and install it. With the help of AnyConnect persistent agent, they would be able to posture the device. But in agentless posture flow, it is not required for the user to be redirected and user intervention is not required at all. So web redirection is not necessary for the agentless posture behavior. Along with the enabling agentless posture flag, we can enable VLAN DACL ACLs in order to permit the uh, necessary traffic to the endpoints connecting to the network initially. I've already done that. And let's go to the policy, policy sets. By default, you will see a default policy set. Let the authentication policies as is. The map authentication policy is looking into the internal endpoints, whereas the .onex users are being looked into the all user identity stores, in which the Active Directory is also present. Let's go to the authorization policy. My endpoint is connected to the wide environment and it is authenticating over the .onex and I've associated agentless authorization profile in which agentless posture flag is enabled. The moment endpoint is connected to the network and got authenticated successfully, ISC will determine that it has to go through the agentless posture flow. Once after communicating to the endpoint, it will try to push the agentless plug into the client machines and with the help of agentless plugin, we will be able to posture the device. Once becoming compliant, he will get the permit access. And now let's see what other configuration that we require. Let's navigate to the administration, identity management, external identity sources, active directory, and configure active directory by providing a joint point name and domain name. Once after providing a joint point name and the domain name, ISC will ask you to provide the administrative credentials in order for, to, in order for ISC to join to the Active Directory. Once after successfully join, joining the ISC to the Active Directory, 
go to the groups and retrieve the groups in which users belonging to. My users are belonging to this group and we could make use of this group in the authorization policy if you will. We need one more configuration, administration, system settings, endpoint scripts, login configuration. Under Windows domain user, provide the domain name and the administrative credentials. I've already configured a posture policy. Let's go to the policy, posture policy. I've already configured one posture policy called agentless policy which is applicable for the Windows operating system 4.x compliance model and we introduced a new posture type called agentless along with any connect any connect stealth and temporal agent you would be seeing the agentless posture type when the agentless plugin is running and looking for the posture policies the posture policies written for this agentless posture type is going to be matched and those requirements are going to be sent to the agentless plugin for the evaluation purpose. I've already associated one requirement, posture requirement. Let's see what is that requirement. Go to policy, policy elements and results. Go to posture, requirement. I've already configured this requirement to be associated with application visibility condition so that I wanted to uh, see the applications running on the endpoint now let's see it in the action by running an endpoint let's go to the operation live logs i've connected my endpoint through one of the switch port interface gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 13 i'm making the interface app and also i'm logging into windows endpoint with the domain credentials as soon as you log in, the user is getting authenticated successfully over the wired medium. As per our configuration, the user is getting matched with the agentless policy and it has been given agentless authorization profile in which agentless posture flag is enabled. Within a couple of seconds, you would be able to see the endpoint became compliant and IEC issued CVA on the endpoint in order to give the permit access privileges to the endpoint. So this is how we can quickly assess the posture of an endpoint without installing agent on the endpoint. We'll go to the context visibility endpoints. Under compliance tab, you would be able to see the posture endpoints and by clicking on the endpoint, you will get to know the applications running on the endpoint because that's the posture policy that we have written. Let's navigate to operation reports. Go to the endpoint and endpoints and users. Click on agentless posture, run the agentless posture report. You'd be able to see the agentless posture was successful on the endpoint or not from the event details. By running the posture assessment by endpoint, you will be able to see the agentless posturing was successful with the agentless plugin on the endpoint. In order to successfully run this flow, we need to ensure on the Windows endpoint, the PowerShell is enabled. The PowerShell remoting is also enabled. That's it. Thanks for watching.